Governor Roy Cooper visited several schools today to highlight what he says is the need for protecting public education. One of those schools was Green Central High School in Snow Hill. On your side, Sarah Gray Barr went out to Green County today to hear what the governor had to say. She joins us now in studio. And Sarah Gray, what was the governor speaking about? Ken, last week, Governor Roy Cooper declared a state of emergency for public education. And this week, he's been touring schools, urging people to contact their representatives to save public schools, saying they help both people's lives and the economy. You've heard that I've declared a state of emergency for public education in North Carolina. We're going to be making some decisions within the next three weeks that are going to determine the future of public education. On the visit, Governor Cooper was joined by Congressman Don Davis. Cooper says the state needs to invest in the schools and in teachers. Now we have a situation where we have over 5,000 teacher vacancies in our state, and that means that Tens of thousands of our students do not have a qualified teacher, and I know that it is a challenge here in Greene County to make sure that you are staffed up. Cooper says he suggests an increase for education in the state budget. And that is why I have proposed an 18 percent teacher raise along with restoring master's pay, along with bonuses, in order to attract and retain the very best teachers in our state. And spoke against proposed private voucher plans. The private school voucher plan shows that there's going to be about a 2% loss to Greene County public schools as a result of that. But budget talks between the state house and senate are to begin soon, he says, determining the fate of public education in North Carolina. And it's one of the reasons why I'm going across the state, so that parents, businesses, teachers, principals, superintendents, can contact their legislators and let them know that we need to invest in public education. Those with Green Central High School said they were excited to have the governor visit the school. In studio, Sarah Gray Barr, 9 on your side.